G'day guys, I've got a couple of questions for you today on commission. Now what commission is, it's a payment that is made from an employer to an employee that is uh, made to incentivize the employee to be more productive at work. And it's usually paid as a fraction or percentage of the value of product that the employee sells. So it's usually, commission is usually paid to salespeople like real estate agents, or people who work in um, consumer electronics stores, etc., etc. So basically, what we have is you'll have an amount that the employee sells, and they will be able to keep a certain fraction of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through these three questions here, and these are basically the three standard commission-style questions that you could get in a test. So if you learn how these three work, then you're basically covered for most commission questions. There'll only be like certain, I guess, changes or nuances different from these. So let's have a look at what we've got here. So we've got, John makes a commission of 2% when a house is sold by his company. How much money would John make as commission if the company sells the house for 300 grand? Okay, so basically the way that you work this one out is you go the value of the sale, which in this case is 300,000. And we multiply that by the percentage commission. Now what I'm gonna do in this case, guys, is I'm going to write it as a fraction and I'll show you why in a second. So we have 300,000 times 2%, which can be written as 300,000 times 2 over 100. Now this, guys, we can write 300,000 times 2, which is 600,000. Divided by 100, which is equal to. So, the zeros, we have two zeros cancel out. And what we have remaining is 6,000 over 1, or simply $6,000. Now what I would do, guys, is if you're going to do these sort of commission questions, it's a good practice exercise to try and express the commissions or the percentage commissions as fractions, so then you can work a lot of these out um, without using a calculator. So let's go on to the next one. Henry is an agent for movie stars. He earns 10% of his clients' salaries. If he made 72 grand last year, how much did his clients make in all? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to call uh, the amount that his clients made, we'll, we'll call that C. So C dollars times 10%, like we have over here. is equal to 72 grand. Cool, so hopefully you guys know a little bit about algebra. So we're timesing this uh, 10 over 100 by the salary of all of his clients. So to move the 10 over 100 to the other side, we're gonna divide both sides by 10 over 100. And what ends up happening is these will cancel out. And we'll be left with C dollars is equal to 72 grand divided by 10 over 100. Now, with fractions, you can't divide a number by a fraction. It's just, it just doesn't work. So what we do is when we're faced with a division by a fraction, we the division by a fraction is simply multiplication by the reciprocal of that fraction. So we're gonna have 72 grand times 100 on 10. Now 100 on 10 is just 
we can just times that by 10. So 72 grand times by 10. Hopefully you guys understand that that's going to be $720,000. Cool. Now, Roberta makes $9 an hour plus 12.5% commission selling jewellery. So in this case here, both of these ones were both straight commissions. So there was no base wage or salary. They only got paid when they actually sold something. But this one, Roberta, she gets paid 9 bucks an hour regardless if she sells anything or not. So plus 12.5% commission selling jewellery. How much does she earn on an 8 hour shift in which she sells $380 worth of jewellery? Okay, so, well let's write down what we've got here because this is a little bit more complicated this one. So her take home pay is equal to $9 per hour plus 12.5% commission. Okay, so what we have to do is well, I'm going to break this question down into her um, hourly rate or a total salary plus her total commission. I'll do both of them separately so we can then add them together at the end. So let's start with her salary. Cool. So her salary is going to be equal to $9 per hour times by how long does she spend there? Eight hours. And that's equal $72. Cool. Now we're going to work on her commission. So, like we did in this one here, the commission <coughs> is going to be the total amount she sells multiplied by her percentage commission. Now, I'm going to write that as a fraction, like I've done in each one of these. So, it's going to be 12.5 divided by 100. Now 12.5 divided by 100, this can be simplified to 1 over 8. So that's what we're going to write it as. So we have $380 times 1 on 8. So this is equal to 380 on 8. Now I've got space over here. So I'm going to work this number out. Cool. So 8 into 3 can't do. 8 into 38 goes 4 times. That's 4, it's 32. Remainder 6. 8 into 60 goes 6. 8 to 56. 6, 7, 4, 8, 7, 8, 56. Remainder 4. 8 into 40 goes 5 times. So, this is going to be equal to, let me just bring that back. Forty seven dollars and 50 cents. So our total pay this is going to be equal to 72 bucks plus 47.50 which is equal to a 
$119.50. Okay, so obviously this one here was the most complicated. However, they all basically require the same strategy when you start. You set up the equation, the percentage commission that the employee will in receive. So what we have here, we have the employee. So this is what the employee will receive. And we have employer on this side, what the employer will receive from the sales. And this bit here is your percentage commission. So if you set up your equation like this, it doesn't matter if you have to work backwards or forwards. You don't have to rote learn any special methods for working backwards. You can just set it up like this and then use algebra and a little bit of fractions to solve them. So I would practice it like that, setting up the equations exactly the same each time and either going forwards or backwards depending on what the question is asking. Remember when you do these um, what salary plus commission style questions, that you must work them out individually. The salary is from the hourly rate, the commission is obviously from the amount that the person sells at her work. So I hope the video helped guys. It, I did rush through a lot of the bits and bobs, but you know, the concepts hopefully aren't too complicated to understand. If you are having a bit more problems with them, just leave a comment in the comment section below with what your issue is and I'll uh, be happy to try and uh, flesh out the explanation a bit more, but I'm, you know, I'm still new to this game guys so you know I need all the help I can get as well so you know if you did like the video though give it a like um, you know subscribe to my channel I put out new videos all the time but until next time guys enjoy your maths <laughs>